Here's my fried chicken and fried rice combo. Try it yourself and you won't be disappointed. Ooh, la, 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 la. To make the best fried chicken, we need chicken. And I'm going to marinate the chicken now. Here, I have some six drumsticks, which is cleaned, washed, and dried. And now I need to add some salt to this. And I need a splash of black pepper powder. The next thing I need is some buttermilk. I'm going to pour some buttermilk to this chicken. This chicken should be in this marinade for at least 30 minutes and if you leave it overnight in fridge, well and good. So we have to wait at least 30 minutes. To go with a fabulous fried chicken, I'm making some fried rice today. It is very simple, 5 minutes fried rice. Let's see how to make it. I have 5 eggs here and to this I'm going to add some salt just to season these eggs a little. Just a little bit and and I need a splash of black pepper powder just a little bit that's all so beat this eggs a little bit to combine the salt and pepper We are going to keep it aside until we need it. A pan on my stove and it's heated up now. I'm going to add some butter. I'm adding some two tablespoons of butter. Butter started to melt now, so I'm going to add the chopped garlic. One tablespoon of chopped garlic. I got two tablespoons of finely chopped celery stock and a small teaspoon of crushed chili and some four tablespoons, whereabouts, spring onion whites. Sort it for two minutes on high flame. When the garlic starts to become fragrant, that's the time we need to add our eggs. Now I can smell the garlic and the spring onion. So this is the time to add our egg mixture, which we already prepared and kept. As I said earlier, this is five eggs. Just gently pour it. As 
us and when the egg starts cooking we are you know scrambling the egg this will take only like 20 to 30 seconds on high flame of course Now it's the time to add our rice. Here I got some 4 cups of leftover rice. I am going to add that to the egg mixture. Next I need some 1 tablespoon light soy sauce which also I'm going to pour through the rice. Now, we need to combine the soy sauce, the egg and all the garlic and butter, everything we added with the rice. Let the rice get warm through with this all aromatics. Just give it some 30 seconds. Next thing going in is some chopped carrots, finely chopped carrots. Give it a stir. Now it's time for some finely diced bell pepper. I'm using green. The fried rice is ready. Sprinkle some green spring onions. All it needs is a sprinkling of the green bar of spring onions. And it's ready to go. Meat is ready to meet the hot oil for deep frying. I'm using a big tray to make our coating. This is one cup of corn flour or corn starch this is one cup of original oats and i have one and a half cups of regular all-purpose flour i'm going to add one teaspoon of granulated garlic which is garlic powder i need a heaped teaspoon garlic powder i'm just going to put it equally anyway i'm going to mix it later so it doesn't matter and i need onion powder this i need a heaped tablespoonful of onion powder That gone in. Now I need chili powder. This is this doesn't give much heat. This is just for the flavor. This is a mild chili powder I'm using. So I'm using a whole tablespoon of it. Now add salt to taste the batter better. Remember we have added salt to the chicken while it's marinating. So 
this is just to boost up the flavor of this coating. That should be enough. Now we need to mix and combine all these things well. Our mixture is ready. So I'm going to do deep house chicken drumsticks which is well marinated in this beautiful flour mixture. And we have to well caught every piece of chicken in this marinade. Make sure that this mixture is coating every piece of chicken beautifully. of the excess and let these pieces rest on another lined tray do the same with all your drumsticks now the meat is ready to meet the hot oil for deep frying oil is hot enough and I'm going to Deep fry the well coated chicken drumsticks in the oil. Keep moving the chicken in the hot oil until it's fully cooked through or develop deep brown color. Keep moving the chicken until it's fully cooked through. This is the last batch of our fried chicken and this is the color we are looking for. I'm going to keep it in the cooling rack. So fried chicken, fried rice and all the side is ready. Now this is how I'm going to serve this today.